With thousands of homes affected by power outages during Hurricane Hannah, hospitals were also impacted. Local 23's Karina Vargas spoke to health officials about how this affected those relying on critical life equipment. We have multiple generators and there are backups to the backups. Sherry Abendroth is the emergency management coordinator at DHR. She tells us the hospital's backup generators kicked in as soon as the power went out. There's an automatic transfer switch in those generators, and when it detects a loss in current from the, the electrical grid, it automatically transfers over to generator power. Abendroth says the generators usually kick in within 10 seconds, and while we received some concerns over a delay within the generators at the hospital, Abendroth assures us patients with life-critical equipment were not affected. Anybody who is on any kind of life critical or equipment, uh, their, their equipment is attached to the life critical uh, electrical grid powered by the generator portion that powers only that stuff. In case the transfer switches don't work, DHR has staff 24-7 who can manually transfer power into the equipment. Abendroth adds in the event of a patient being sent home with a ventilator, they will be providing them with resources that was struggling with power, we would certainly um, either bring them in uh, so that we could put them in an environment that does have power and help manage that or, or provide resources. Abendroth says they are prepared if another power outage occurs and assures their main priority is keeping their patients safe. In Harlingen, I'm Karina Vargas, Local 23 News. Anyone currently dealing with a power outage is urged to contact their local power company.